and today I'm doing a fox hunt. Play that awesome intro video. This is K5 SKR. Hey Frank, how's that intro coming? Oh, thank you for asking. I'm working. Hey Frank, how's that intro coming? Well, yes, I. Hey, hey Frank. Frank, where's, where's that, that intro, intro video? video? Hey, hey Frank, Frank. Frank. How's, how's that intro video? video? Hey Frank, are you really trying to get this intro to work? Yes, yes I am. Alrighty then. We are in Hearst, and we're going to be doing a fox hunt today. A fox hunt is where they hide a microtransmitter, and it's up to the hunters to go find it. I am going to be using a Yagi tape measure 2 meter and 440 antenna as for my directional finding antenna, and a Baofeng radio. Ooh, there it is. Um, things that you need to get your Baofeng radio set correctly is the frequency the antenna's on. Today, our antenna is going to be on 146, 146, 565. And the other thing that you're going to be needing to do with your radio is to set it. The squelch is turned all the way off. If you can't hear the transmitter, you can't find it, especially with direction finding. You're gonna to try to pick it out from um, the static. Use the S meter to figure out what direction it is at with the help of the Yagi antenna. So I think I covered it all. Let's get started. And here I'm at, at the car. I am still gonna be using the same mag mount antenna I showed you in my other video. Link up there probably. I am gonna be using it with the Baofeng radio connected to the mag mount as I'm driving. This won't give me direction, but at least I'll be able to find out what area am I trying to go in the right way using the S meter. Is the S meter getting louder or softer a little bit as I drive down the road? Uh, so I'll be able to at least do a little bit of direction finding if I'm getting closer or farther away from the antenna just based on the signal alone. Let me go get set up in the car and um, let's get ready to start this. One thing bad about filming in your car can't have the music radio on. YouTube copyright. This hunt is going to be taking place over the HEB area. No, not the grocery store. Um, that's Hearst Euless Bedford area. Right now I'm in Hearst. So I'm on the far west corner of this. So once this kicks off, I'm hoping there's going to be an announcement here soon. Planning on jumping on 183 and heading East to see if I could pick up the transmitter. Well, good morning, area. everybody. This is Chris, KD5HIY, Foxmaster for the HEB area fox hunt this morning. I want to welcome everybody from uh, multiple clubs, hopefully. Um, we're looking to have a good time today. Do have two foxes hidden around the city somewhere. When you find one, you will be in range of the other, so you will probably have to. Uh, expend a little effort to uh, finding out which direction. If you would like to participate in this morning's fox hunt, please come with your call sign phonetically. This is KG5AHJ, checking in. Okay, let me, uh, let me just acknowledge who I have here real quick. Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel, Juliet. Whiskey 5, Papa, Foxtrot Hotel. Okay, so here are some of, uh, this is going to be your first clue. Uh, the foxes are on public property. You will not have to trespass on any private property. So they're on public property. Uh, about every 20 minutes or so, I will pop on and give you a clue to help you out because it uh, it's, could be anywhere in the HEB area. So uh, we'll go ahead and kick this off and here in about uh, 20 minutes, give you your first clue. 85 HOI Fox Hunt. Alright, let's get started.
Okay, this is KD5 HLY. Time for your first clue. To put it easily, children love to play here. Children love to play here. I'll have another clue for you in about 20 minutes. KD5 HLY. So I'm guessing it's in a park somewhere. I just realized I was on the wrong side of my radio. Oops. Alrighty then. Um, the second clue was just given out that children, or the first clue was children like to play here. The second clue was south of 183. I think I would have found this a little bit sooner if I didn't accidentally hit the bell thing key, um, push the talk button, and I went to the wrong channel. So I, I started kind of close to here. I'm at, I'm at the Hearst Community Park, and I'm going to do a little bit of direction finding, see if I can find the antenna. What you heard earlier right now is the tone, so I'm pretty well on it. I have the squelch turned on now, and it's somewhere, I think, in the park. So I'm going to go over there close to the um, playground. Now, he did say earlier there are two microtransmitters out here, so it's going to be fun if I can locate both of them. All righty then. Um... We just gotta wait for the tones and then I will try to figure out what direction it is coming from. gonna go that direction first. So let's get to it. We are finally here at the first location. It's down there behind the tree. I'll get a shot of it in a second. But we finally stumbled upon it. Doug saw it and then I immediately saw it because I was right on there. Go ahead, Don. 75 HDL, myself and Frank have the ammo box found. Alright, time is 1036. Um, I will also give uh, clues here in just a couple minutes for those that have not found it. Well, finally, we have the uh, sun coming out behind the clouds off and on. We found that first transmitter, the ammo box, and now I'm looking for the second one. The second one's supposed to be a microtransmitter somewhere in that area. So uh, I'm gonna wait for the next beacon and see if I can hear it. I'm getting great directionality from that one. So it's in front of me, in front of the camera here, about that direction. So um, I'll see if I can find it. Thorns. 
that was an accessible fox hunt, I got one out of the two uh, repeaters found, or the transmitters found. I did not find that small, small little bomb one. But uh, this is Chris I'm with, and uh, he's the organizer of the uh, fox hunt. Its call sign is KD5HIY. So uh, go ahead and tell us on about the transmitters you use for the fox hunt. Okay. Well, first off, I, you know, with all the everybody being locked down and, and kind of not being able to get out, I wanted to do something where we could all get out uh, multiple clubs uh, in the area. So I put out the call for multiple cl clubs, saying I want to do a fox hunt. Hold it up closer. I want to do a uh, I want to do a fox hunt and just kind of put a little feeler out there. Go for out it. There. Go for it. Um, and surprisingly got quite a bit of response. Um, so the, I have two uh, transmitters here today. Uh, one of them is a commercial grade or com made commercially. One is um, kind of kit that I put together myself. Um, this one is a PVC pipe wrapped with uh, some camo duct tape. That's just a little piece of foam for to help protect. And inside, and I put it in this to keep it keep it uh, watertight, just in case it rained. So this is what's called the Micro Fox, the little 15 milliwatt transmitter. You program it; it plays a little tone, and then it will ID after a few seconds. So this one was our low power one. Um, hidden inside of this, I hid it up in a tree. So I hid it so well, I had trouble finding it <laughs> as I was going to pick it up. I couldn't remember where I hid it. So that's not the I fox's went fault. In circles three or four times trying to find that, <laughs> and I could not. And I got tore up by all the thorns. Yeah, you have to come prepared. Uh, one of our guys came out in shorts, and he was he was shredded up pretty good. Um, this one is our higher powered one right here. Um, this is nothing nothing more than a, uh, a Baofeng radio and a little media player right here that I bought off of Amazon. It's just cheap, fifteen dollars. Um, I recorded a message on it, some tones, a couple tones, and then it IDs uh, kd 5 hi why fox hunt mm -hmm. um, transmitting out of this at one watt um, one watt may be too much so if you have a radio that is that will transmit less uh, power output and like a half a watt would be perfect because from what I read online one watt would give you half a mile maybe three quarters of a mile but we heard people uh, saying that they heard it five miles away which kind of made it a little difficult uh, so it was just this little radio little media player um, plugged into the the microphone right there uh, I had turned Vox down on one which is the most sensitive and crank the volume up on this quite a bit because if this volume wasn't loud enough it wouldn't activate the Vox on the on this radio here this is the entire setup um, I do want to get a little bit better one Bionics makes one out there it's got a, a little controller that actually interfaces properly rather than this it's kind of loose but it did do the trick it's like people had a really good time well, we all had a blast man so that was the whole point uh, that was the whole point basically so we could all get out and um, you know just get some sun and play ham radio because awesome. that's kind of what we want to do you know <laughs> Well, thank you, Chris. You bet. Soda bump. Uh, Appreciate it. Using directionality. Great. My car needs gas. Um, 